All right, so this is video lesson number 28. Uh, this is going to be about inclined planes and work. So we want to talk about what it means for someone to use an inclined plane to help make their job a little easier as he pushes that up the hill or the ramp. So first thing we're going to talk about is the notes that this follows, which these are on page 117. I want to zoom in here and show you something for just a second. We're going to focus here for a second on this formula, work equals force times distance. One of the things I want to make sure is really clear is that we are not changing work. We are changing this part, the force and the distance. We are changing the way that work is done. So work by definition is moving an object over a certain distance with a specific force. So we have distance and force. Uh, inclined planes are there to reduce force and increase distance. So I want to give you an example, and I know I gave this example to you guys in class, but I want to go over it again. So I think everybody could agree to this. So let's just say we said 10 equals 5 times 2. Okay. Now we're going to look at this in terms of work equals force times distance. So if we say 10 is our work, our force is 5, and our distance is 2, we could say this is joules, this is newtons, and this is meters. All right? Well, also, that would be the same as saying 10 joules of work equals 2 newtons times 5 meters. Okay, so all we're doing, if you look at this example, is we're just reducing the newtons. So we are going to reduce our force. So work equals force is going to go down. All right? And then we're going to increase from 2 to 5 is our example here. We're going to increase our distance by making the distance go up. So notice, this number never changes. The 10 stays the same, uh, no matter if you use 5 times 2 or 2 times 5. I'll give you one last example. What about this? 10 equals 1 newton times 10 meters. Now we've reduced it even more. But the 10 over here on this left-hand side where we have work stays the same. All right, so that's a fundamental thing we have to make sure we're clear on when we start to calculate how inclined planes help us. So if you just look back quickly at the bottom of the screen, I drew a little guy and he's pushing a box up a ramp. And we have example one, example two, and example three. Well, notice that he goes up two blue lines in every drawing, okay? But between each of the drawings, the difference is the length of the ramp. So what he's doing is traveling a longer distance, but he has to push less because the ramp isn't at such a steep angle. So his force has gone down, but his distance has gone up. So this one here, he has the most mechanical advantage. In example one, he has the least amount of mechanical advantage. So the advantage of the incline plane is that it decreases your input force. The drawback, the, d the disadvantage to the inclined plane is that it increases the distance with which you must move. So that's exactly how inclined planes work.